what's up guys I am back with another recipe and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best shrimp and grits recipe this recipe is definitely good as a brunch item and also if you just want to have it simply for breakfast lunch or dinner so without further ado I'm going to run down the ingredients of which you are going to be needing and then we'll get to cooking it all right so here I already diced up some bell pepper some celery red bell pepper we got shallots. We're not using onions today. We're going to be using some shallots. Then I got some minced garlic cloves. Then I cut up some fresh parsley. Then we got some heavy whipping cream, some Worcestershire sauce. We got some andouille sausage. These are the ones. This is the kind of andouille sausage that I used. And also we have some chicken broth back here. We got some grits. Yep, I'm using the quick grits. We got some peeled and vein clean shrimp that I already handled already then we got our spice blend so without further ado guys let's get it started okay so we're going to first start off by seasoning our shrimp with our spice blend so in this spice blend i have some creole seasoning oh, let me show you which one i'm using I'm using the tonys all right so we have that there the creole seasoning some garlic powder some paprika black pepper and some onion powder so we're just going to get that all mixed in Y'all know how I do. All right, that looks good to me. All right, so we're not gonna add all of this to our shrimp because we're gonna later use it for our gravy. And also remember, you never have to season your shrimp too much because shrimp absorbs seasoning very quickly and you don't want to over season it to where it's gonna be extremely salty. All right, so that looks about good. It's thoroughly mixed. All right, need a close up. There you go. This is what it should be looking like. All right, now you want to set these to the side, and now we got to start on our grits because that's what's going to take the longest to cook. So let's head over to the stove. Okay, for your grits, you want to start off by adding in your chicken broth. You want to bring your chicken broth to a boil, then you want to add your grits, but I'll be showing you everything to do when it's time. Okay, so our chicken broth has come to a boil. Now you want to gradually add in your grits and stir while you're doing it because you don't want them to clump up. And then after they're all added, you want to occasionally stir them so that they don't clump up as well. And guys, also, uh, whatever grits that you're using, go according to your box instructions so that you know you can make your perfect grits and what I like to do also is that I don't add any type of extra flavoring until after the grits are completed because I don't want to over salt them or over season them because we are cooking them inside of you know the chicken broth and that's going to give it tons of flavor on its own and now I'm going to reduce the heat and let these cook all the way through and come to you know a light simmer and I will also be stirring these occasionally all right so we got those in so now let's move on to making the shrimp and gravy all right guys so to a preheated pan you want to add your andouille sausage or your sausage of choice and you want to cook these until they get a little brown with a nice crust on them and also I will be including the ingredients with the measurements in the description below. So guys, I'm going to let these continue to cook so that they can get browned with the crust on it as I explained. And I'll be right back to show you exactly what they are supposed to be looking like. This is perfect right here, guys. Let me give you a close up on what it should look like. I always like to show. By cooking them this way, it helps to release the oils and the flavor. So we're gonna take these out and set them aside. So now that we got our sausage out and set aside, we're going to leave whatever oils that it left in the pan. As far as all of that fine down there, that's fine because that's flavor. And we're going to add some butter to our pan. Make sure that your heat is low, guys. And to that, we're going to add our shrimp.
Make sure that they're all laying flat and that they're not overlapping each other. So now you want to make sure that your shrimp are being cooked on each side, preferably about three minutes until you start to see the pink color build up along the side of them. Then that's when you know it's time to flip your shrimp. So it's time to flip our shrimp. Oh, this is perfect. And let them go for another two to three minutes. And guys, don't forget about your grits. Make sure that you are stirring them occasionally to make sure that they don't clump up. And remember to follow your box instructions to get the perfect cooked grits. These are looking good, guys. It smells so amazing in here, especially from those uh, sausage. Oh my God. Man, I cannot wait to eat this. <laughs> like, seriously. Okay, so now that we got all of our shrimp flipped over, I'm going to let these go for another two to three minutes. Then I'm going to remove them from the pan and set them aside along with those sausage. Then I'm going to get started on sauteing our vegetables. So now to saute our vegetables, we're going to add a bit more butter just to get them going. All of this is going to come up, guys, so don't worry about it burning or giving your dish a bad flavor because that's definitely not going to happen. So we're going to add everything that's on this plate from the bell pepper, celery, red pepper, and the shallots. And there we go. Oh, got a little on there. You want to give that a stir and you're going to cook these for about four minutes until they become slightly translucent to bring out all of the flavors. See how all of that fog came up? So the flavor is now onto our vegetables. Wow, this smells amazing, guys. Oh, my God. All right, so I'm going to let this cook for a few more minutes. Then we can complete making our gravy. Guys, so while our vegetables are going, let's check on our grits. They are coming out perfect. I'm gonna let them go for another few more minutes until I start adding everything else that's going to go in here to complete them. Guys, this is the perfect time to add your garlic in now. You wanna do that right before your uh, peppers and onions are almost finished cooking because you don't want it to burn. And now that will definitely give you a bit of flavor. If you let your garlic burn, then your dish will be totally ruined. Unless that's the flavor you want. I'm pretty sure that it's not. <laughs> so, guys, just make sure you do it that way. And just let it go for like another two minutes. And then we'll start adding everything else. Now, after cooking these vegetables down for two to three minutes, after you've added your garlic, you just want to cook it until the garlic is fragrant. Okay, so now to this, you want to add in your Worcestershire sauce. Just give that a quick stir and this gets absolutely no cooking time you just want to mix it through your vegetables all right now you want to add your sausage back in give that a quick mix make sure everything is fully incorporated Ooh wee, this smells so good. I think I could just eat it like this over some white rice. <laughs> I'll be satisfied with that. Okay, now you want to add your heavy cream. Your heavy whipping cream, that is. Make sure you get all of it. Guys, don't forget I mentioned earlier that, that everything that you will be needing will be in the description below all of the measurements now you just want to give this a quick stir let it all come together guys let it all come together and before putting your shrimp in you want to taste this right now to make sure that it doesn't need any additional seasoning but I do have some reserved from earlier so I'm going to be Tasting that? Oh man. Mmm. Wow. That is definitely good. <laughs> and I'm gonna add a pinch of 
our seasoning blend from earlier of the Creole mix to make sure that we have this dish on point and it is flavorful. We already built our layers of flavor. We're sauteing the peppers, the onions, the sausage, then the shrimp, everything is still in this pan. So you just wanna make sure that that is all the way through and mixed. Now we're gonna add our shrimp back in and let this come to a simmer. And even all of that juice that's there, add it all in there, that's all flavor. All right now. Now we're just gonna mix this in. I'm gonna put a lid on this and let it simmer for about five minutes until the gravy starts to thicken. Trust me guys, it is gonna be an amazing sight and also an amazing flavor. So I'm gonna place that top on for about five minutes and head over to our grits and add in everything else that needs to go in that. And by the time we finish with that, this should be done. All right guys, let's check on these grits. Ooh, nice and thick. All right, so let's add in everything else that we're going to be needing. All right, we're gonna start off with some butter. We're gonna mix that in. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna add in a little salt. Some black pepper. Let's mix that in. Now to this, we're gonna add just a little heavy cream just to thicken things up a little bit. Make it creamy. Ooh wee. That is beautiful. Get a close up on that. <laughs> All right, so to this now, to complete these grits, we are going to add some white cheddar cheese that I grated up myself. It's always best to grate up your own cheese because it melts better. Oh yeah, baby. And these are done, y'all. Wow, this smells so good. Oh my God. And guys, also be careful to not add too much salt because remember, you're gonna get salt from your cheese also. Wow, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, guys, these are done. I'm going to turn the flame off and put the lid back on it. And just set it to the side and let them sit for a bit. Let's get back to that uh, that gravy, see what we're looking like over there. All right, let's see how good this gravy came out. Oh, wow, all right. Wow, this smells so good. I cannot wait to taste this. Okay, so you can see the thickness of this gravy. It's not supposed to be too thick. It's supposed to be just right. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about right now. Look how good that looks. See, the gravy isn't too thick. It has enough run on it, but that is perfect and it is done. So guys, you already know how I do. You know, we got to hit it with a little bit of food glitter to make it pop. There we go. Just a little bit of that parsley I cut up. Doesn't that look good? Guys, make sure you try this recipe. Look at that. All right, let's plate up, y'all. Let's get some of those cheesy, creamy, thick grits that we just made into this serving bowl. These smell so good. <laughs> I cannot wait to eat it. All right, let me set these to the side. And now we're gonna get that shrimp on there. All right, let's start over here. Mmm. 
I know for a fact that this is going to be good. Look at that. Look at that. Let's get some of that gravy around the edges. All right, guys, that sums it up for our dish. It was simple, easy, and quick. And I hope I didn't take up too much of you guys' time making this dish. I'm pretty sure I didn't. And also, make sure that you like this video. Please, please like this video. Share, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified next time that I post another video. And let's continue to grow together. So now that we've finished plating up our dish, let's... Hit it with a little bit of food glitter, just a little bit more. Give it a little pop to it. Not too much. All right, that's pretty now. <laughs> All right, let's taste it. All right, let's dig in. Got to make sure I get some shrimp and some sausage. Wow. First bite goes to you. Now me. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. Wow. That gravy has the perfect balance to it because of the way we layered the flavors. The shrimp are cooked perfect. They're not overcooked. They're not rubbery. The sausage and the onions and peppers give it so much flavor. And those grits are to die for. They're creamy, cheesy, and it has a right amount of salt and pepper to it. Guys, you got to give this dish a try. Please, please, please do. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel so that you can get more recipes like this. So with all of that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for all of your positive support, and I'll see you in the next video.